All right, guys, we are introducing today our brand new model, the Stonewall. Uh, I'm super excited about this knife for uh, a variety of reasons. Um, we had a lot of people requesting a blade with more belly and maybe a little bit longer blade. Our Blackfoot and our, our Speed Goat are a little smaller knife with a lot more of a point. Um, and the idea behind that Blackfoot especially was it's a knife you can kind of take and do anything with in the Blackfoot Valley where I grew up in Montana. Stonewall name came from Stonewall Mountain in Lincoln where I grew up. So Stonewall sits right on the edge of the Bob Marshall Wilderness. So if you hike up to the top of that Stonewall Mountain, you look over the Blackfoot Valley. But if you turn around and look north, that's the entire Bob Marshall and Scapegoat Wilderness. So I just thought that was a cool name and uh, it kind of has some meaning, meaning to me as, as far as where I grew up. The Stonewall blade here has a four and three quarter inch blade, which is about an inch and a quarter longer than the Blackfoot. It's also wider here, the entire profile of that blade. I designed this blade to have a bit of a drop point coming out here, um, but we still have some tip to actually use if we need to do some caping or some of that kind of work. But really the workhorse on this blade is this section from here through this belly into the back towards the ricasso of this blade here. That knife is really intended to do a lot of work in the, in the, uh, in the gutting and in the skinning process uh, or slicing up back straps, slicing up meat if you need to debone, an, uh, you know, like a full elk. Um, that blade has, has a lot of blade to be able to do that. The other advantage to this long blade is if you really need to actually baton this thing through some wood, uh, you, you, you really have enough blade to do that where you can use this section of this blade and still kind of hammer out on, on this point here, which is somewhat why I made that, that flat right out here where you can actually get down on that, whether it's with your hands and you're pushing or you're actually batoning down on that tip right here. This blade is about 20 thousandths thicker than a Blackfoot blade. So it's a little bit stiffer from the standpoint of getting that in, in a bind and prying. Uh, however, this is still not a pry bar. It's not a screwdriver. The tip is actually still fairly thin right out here. Um, so it's not an unbreakable knife, but it's definitely a blade that's hardy. Um, and and I, I really can't see anything that you're gonna do in the field where you're gonna be able to break this blade. All of our knives come with a Kydex sheath. And uh, these sheaths are vacuum form molded to the exact profile of the front of our handles. And by doing that, it makes for a tight fit where our blades click into place. Uh, what that causes though, is these sheaths hold on tight. And so we've actually added a little thumb ramp to the top of our sheath for you to be able to get a leverage point. So your thumb slides into that little ramp. And then we wanna make sure and grab with our index finger on the actual belt clip of the blade. We don't wanna get down in here where this edge is coming out. Uh, so we grab that belt clip, the edge always goes away from us, and then pull and rip it out wide. Don't worry about pulling that blade out here. We've seen some people kind of panic a little bit. They pull out and they recoil and it comes back towards your hand. Uh, so we just want to be careful of that. When you also put that blade in there, make sure you push it all the way in. Uh, they do fit tight. Our Blackfoots, our speed goats, all of our blades. So we've seen some people kind of push in and like, oh, it's getting snug and they stop. Get it all the way. Um, so these sheaths uh, are, like I say, they're vacuum molded. They're really high quality. Uh, these clips, like this blade, the Stonewall, will clip right on your pack, uh, just as our Blackfoots and our Speed Goats do. So there's no tricks, there's no buttons. It's just a good hard pull. The Stonewall blade comes with a G10 handle. Uh, the G10 is an actual synthetic material. Uh, and the, the advantage to that is the fact that moisture, blood, water, uh, heat, cold, nothing really affects that material. It's not gonna warp, it's not gonna crack. Uh, you can hammer on it. If you need to hammer your tent stakes in with the back end of this knife, you can do that. Um, if you need uh, to hammer on those tent stakes and you wanna put them on there and use a rock and go that direction, this material is basically shock proof. Uh, these screws and bolts that go, that put this hand knife together are all Loctited in place. Um, but if in the end, in the end, if you end up having a problem with that handle, we can actually remove these scales and replace them with new ones, which is really cool. Uh, but I don't see there really being any chance that you're going to need to do that. This material is basically bulletproof. We've actually left the milling marks from building these handles on these, 
on these handles. And we did that because sometimes this material can get slick if it's highly polished. Uh, but what we found and our customers have commented on is even when this is wet, you still have grip, which is really important when you're up inside the cavity of an animal that you've harvested. So uh, the G10 comes in multiple colors, uh, but there really is no difference between the colors of durability. It's all the same. Uh, and it's just, you know, frankly, it's just, a, it's just more bulletproof than any kind of natural material that we could use. The Stonewall blade is made with 52100 ball bearing steel. Ball bearings uh, are made to resist wear in industry. So it's a fantastic steel from a wear standpoint, which helps give you an edge that holds up to constant use. The really nice thing about that steel is it's actually quite easy to resharpen. And a lot of that has to do with our edge geometry. The blade's 135 thousandths thick back here at the spine, but we're only 15 thousandths thick at the edge. Uh, what that means is when you go to resharpen, you have less steel back there to have to contend with with sharpening. And that less steel behind that edge also makes it to where it passes through material easier. We sharpen our edges to get a bit of a bite when, you, when you're using these blades. If you look under a magnifying glass, they actually look like a little uh, micro saw. And so those teeth when going through hide and hair are actually grabbing and aggressively biting at that edge. Uh, that's what we really want with a hunting knife. And that's what, uh, that's what we've tried to create. 52100 steel is not a stainless steel. It's high carbon steel. Uh, that's why we do this black parkerized finish, just like a high-end gun barrel. Uh, that finish is actually quite wear resistant and it will keep this blade from rusting and having any, uh, any issues. It's also nice because it's not reflective. The other advantage to parkerizing, this is not a paint or a coating on the outside of the steel that's gonna really wear off easily. It chemically attaches to the steel and is much more durable than a lot of the paints that you see on the outside of the blades. The Stonewall Hunter was really designed for any big game hunter. This is not typically a blade you're gonna take on a bird and trout trip. Uh, this, is, this is for deer, it's for elk, bear, anything in North America and Africa that you wanna put this blade to. There's really not a big game animal on the planet that you can't use this blade on. Um, it's really for the hunter that's got maybe a little bit larger hand, wants a, wants a need for a, bit, a little bit bigger blade, especially if you're, if you're planning on you know, using this knife on larger animals. The small game, Blackfoot covers it. Blackfoot will also go in through all the big game that you want to do as well. But this blade's just hardier, bigger, got more cutting surface on the edge, uh, and is really a fantastic choice for skinning, um, gutting out your animals, and even cutting up all the meat in the kitchen.